Hello and welcome to a brief demonstration of ErgoWeb's Job Evaluator Toolbox version 5 or JET 5. I've logged into the system and I'm scrolling through the menus on the left to show you the methods that are included. Everything is based in scientific research. Uh, these are the methods that professionals use and recommend, regulators recognize, and so forth. Good bet if you're doing ergonomics risk analysis. On the right, you'll see a table that reflects all those same methods but gives you guidance on which body parts, which risk factors, what kind of tasks they apply to, and so forth. So it's a popular way to start your analysis off on the right foot. Well, let's take a look at one of the methods. This uh, is just as an example, the Rogers muscle fatigue analysis. Uh, and you'll notice once I get into the method, I have the option to upload data that I might have saved in a previous analysis, access help, get some data sheets. Uh, let's take a look at this help. This system is very well documented. Um, I can just read that documentation or sometimes I might want to jump right to a section of interest. In this case, what are you asking me about the neck? Um, I might collect the data in other ways. I might print out a data form like uh, this PDF and take it with me in the field on my clipboard, circle some numbers and come back. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm showing an Excel worksheet that's interactive. I might use this on a laptop or a tablet out in the field, collect some data and save it. And then when I come back to my office or my main PC, I can upload it and, uh, and uh, play with it some more in the office. Um, I might also just add the data right here on the, uh, on the HTML interface, a typical website. So I select some values from these pull-down menus. Um, and every method's a little different, but uh, this one has got several pull-down menus and I answer questions about body regions. Um, I calculate. I only changed one for demonstration purposes here, but you'll see I get a report. I have some new options. I can go back and do what-if analysis and test different scenarios. I can save these inputs. I can edit it. I can export it to a PDF. You'll notice in this case I got a yellow moderate risk indication for the neck. We use red, yellow, and green indicators throughout the system to represent risk levels. Um, at this point, I might want to do some what-if analysis to see how to improve upon that problem. But let's say I wanted to share the report. I could go to the Edit Report button here, which I'll demonstrate in our Report Customization video. 